Well, this is an exceptional year. I had the privilege to review many abstracts from investigators from greater than 100 countries around the world, and I think it's going to be an incredibly exciting program. Um, I think in the, the hot topics this year will be the uh, further advancements that have been made in rapid molecular diagnostics. Um, we are really pushing the envelope in, 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 uh, the, in getting the time to uh, I pathogen identification and resistance gene uh, detection uh, faster and faster. Um, I think there's uh, significant insights that have been made from whole genome sequencing. Um, I'm very excited about the interplay between uh, uh, drug resistance genes and the environment and the uh, 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 understandings that have been advanced in functional genomics as well as in metagenomics. I, I think the other uh, very fascinating area that has occurred is that we, as a result of our technologies, we've been able now to track uh, killer clones, if you will, spreading around the world, and that has been a significant uh, advance. Unfortunately, we still have the same problems. Acinetobacter tends to be an organism that is threatening uh, uh, our patients' lives, and resistance in Acinetobacter is not abating. NDM is still with us. Um, uh, it's uh, being detected in a variety of areas now, and my concern is that it's spreading to the community sources. Um, and uh, KPC is also extremely prevalent. I'm very, very pleased that many of the abstracts are coming from underrepresented minorities and in areas of, uh, of the world previously. It's very welcome to see abstracts from Africa and uh, the Middle East, and uh, the science there is outstanding. Um, I also think it's very important that we, as we go forward, we have the gender balance in these areas. Um, uh, our section particularly tries to, you know, link, uh, uh, it tries to represent this in a very fair and balanced way. Um, uh, we are all aware of the great women scientists that are, are emerging right now and are, are much excited about their participation and contribution to this program. Um, I think there will be uh, clearly, clearly, um, uh, the major areas in resistance will be uh, uh, as a result of better genome sequencing faster, um, the translation of that genome sequence into usable clinical data, and developing models to help uh, predict uh, what will happen. Um, I saw some abstracts now on machine learning. I was very interested in that. I think that's going to be a really hot area in antimicrobial resistance. Um, and I also think it's going to be extremely important um, as we understand the communication of certain resistance genes from the environment into humans, into uh, our food supply. I think that link uh, will be uh, uh, very important for the future. I also see, uh, although not in my section, I was very excited about hearing the combined use of uh, immunotherapeutics with antibiotics. Um, I think that's, uh, that's a uh, area that's going to be very fruitful. And obviously, stewardship, uh, getting better models for stewardship will have significant impact.